So we released an update a couple weeks ago for Black Friday to StratGen, my software, to automatically generate trading bot strategies with no code. And part of the update was adding the Fibonacci pivots uh, signal to that. And I wanted to come out here and show you guys uh, the possibilities with the Fibonacci signal specifically. So what I did was I tested uh, NASDAQ future strategies with different Fibonacci pivot levels. So you have uh, seven different levels. You have the actual pivot point. Um, you have the three resistances and the three supports. I'll show you what that looks like. So right here on the right of my screen, you see these three blue bars, R3, R2, R1, uh, yellow pivot point, and then S1, S2, and S3. And these use Fibonacci calculations to calculate the major pivot points and then the resistances and, and the supports. And what you can do is you could build a trading system around that, right? Adding rules like, hey, if the close crosses below the pivot point or the high crosses above the resistance, enter a trade. Then what I did with StratGen is select just the Fibonacci pivots. I didn't want to test uh, the other signals in there. I just wanted to focus on Fibonacci. And I've been testing it on a couple of different instruments. Um, I've so far found success with NQ five minute bars, but I haven't completed my testing. Uh, so here, what you see on the screen is all the tests it did, uh, testing you know the low cross above the Fibonacci pivots, the high, the close, and then the different levels as well. Um, so I did a bunch of testing. I obviously be bored watching it, but I was able to come out with a system on top. And the beauty about StratGen is it generates the code for you. So here on my screen, here it actually generated the source code for us, both long and short. So there's the long code here. You can see the enter long. And then here's the short code. Automatically generated. There's a the system here. So the actual, the long signal enters if the low crosses above the second resistance. So it's gonna be a trend following system. Once this low is crossing above this R2, it's going to be going long, right? So this is a, this is a, at least for the long side, it's definitely trend following where as the instrument makes new highs, it's going to be entering a trade. Now on the short side, if the high crosses below the pivot point, so the pivot points, this yellow line, if you actually click it here, you'll see the historical Fibonacci lines. Um, but by default, NinjaTrader only shows the latest one. So, um, I guess, yeah, it does update if you scroll back. So yeah, the, it, it's basically a trend following system, following those trends, new lows going short. The short side is a little, or a little bit more mean reverting because it's shorting at that pivot point. But yeah, very interesting system. Uh, these are the final results from my out of sample and in sample tests. There's still a couple more tests that I would do. I would put these trades, uh, I'd put the other sample trades in a Monte Carlo simulator, um, as well as do a high order fill resolution test, and then also check the correlation between my portfolio. If you wanna learn more about how to do those tests or how to get StratGen, which actually generated this Fibonacci strategy for us, uh, you can see the links in the description below. Would you trade the system? Let me know in the comments below if you would personally trade the system, um, if it would meet your expectations. This is on the NASDAQ e-mini contract. So you could trade micros and trade the MNQ, the micro um, NASDAQ contracts. Uh, and then of course, it's, all the numbers would be divided by a factor of 10. But so far, so good. So I wanted to show, showcase that with you. And um, yeah, that's, uh, that's our video for today on strategy and generating and Fibonacci strategy. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see some other signals. Uh, we did a massive update two weeks ago, we added choppiness index, uh, MFI, which I think is either money flow index. I believe that's the name of it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, we had a Fibonacci Camarilla pivot support resistance and a whole bunch of more signals. So, uh, definitely will be more updates to stretch in, uh, with the more cool signals. And I'm excited to just find creative ways to, to build automated trading systems. That's the video guys. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.